Well, hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason and this is a free hypnosis session just for you. So, I would like you, if, if it's safe for you to do so, close your eyes and just let you know never ever listen to any hypnosis sessions unless you can safely close your eyes okay and with this session I'm Jason by the way with this session we're going to do it's like an experiment okay um, and this is something that you can do maybe at the end of the day maybe it's something you can do during the day maybe it's something you can do during the actual interaction but it takes it might take a little bit of practice it's much easier to learn it when you've got a bit of space to lie down or sit in a comfortable chair you don't have to have complete silence there may even be background sounds where you are or where I am that's okay so with this session basically what it's going to do is allow you to change how you feel about an incident that might have happened during the day so for example it really could be anything. I don't want you to think about anything major, just something that's been, that annoyed you. It could be an interaction with another person. It could be, it could be just being late for work. It could be bad weather. It could be any, anything that's caused you to feel a certain way that feels uncomfortable that you don't, you know, that you're not liking. I think it's worth remembering that it's okay to feel that way also but you know once the situation's over for example you're laying in your bed or you're sitting in your chair seven o'clock in the evening the fact that the bus was late 12 hours ago really needn't bother you anymore And you can allow that to just dissolve. You can do it earlier than this. You don't have to wait 12 hours. But this is just um, as an example for you to just test it out. See how it works for you. So, with this technique, as with anything you do, first of all, just allow yourself just to go inside with your eyes closed if you choose. You don't have to close your eyes, you can have them open, it's up to you. Uh, I always find closing my eyes is easier. And just get in touch with how you feel, notice how you feel. Physically, emotionally, just generally, how do you feel? And you're not trying to change how you feel right this moment. Not trying to push anything away or hold on to any feeling, just Allow yourself to feel the way you feel. And what I'd like you to do now is just imagine, think back, you don't really have to imagine, but just think back to the event that happened earlier today. Or well, it can be an event from a few days ago or whenever, but pick one that's fairly recent, that may be between zero and 10, 10 being the worst you could feel and zero being the least you know that it didn't bother you all maybe look for something around the maybe four to six mark so nothing too high nothing too low something that peeved you off but when you think about it it still peeves you off winds you up annoys you upsets you whatever words you want to use to describe the same thing we all have our own words to describe how we feel. 
So whatever words you use, attach those words to this particular feeling. Remembering it, it is just a feeling and it's changeable like everything else that happens and feelings don't last. So what I'd like to do is just imagine this feeling that you had. Just mark off what number it is, 0 to 10. And you can come back to this chart later on after we've reduced it. After you've reduced it rather. So um, now we've got this feeling you have. So when you think about this thing, I want you to imagine this is a bath. A bath of really hot water. Okay, it's really hot water and um, it's uncomfortable. You know, you put your toes in, it's like, oh, it doesn't have to be boiling, but it's too hot for comfort. And you put your foot in, it's like, oh, ouch, no, that's too hot. You know that if you come back to it in five minutes, it's still going to be hot. You're going to have to wait. So you know you're going to have to let some out and put some cold in. So at the moment, the bath is only half full. So you don't have to let any out. You can just leave it in. What you can do, and this is something you can do um, every time that something like this happens, and you can do it inside your mind in an instant, and just notice what happens in an instant to that feeling. And also, you can do it during the day. So even if it means perhaps pop into the toilet or the bathroom during work, or you know just sitting on your own outside, for a few minutes where you can safely close your eyes. Maybe you don't even need to close your eyes for this. You could potentially even do this while it's going on. So the thing happens, you get the response, you do this thing that I'm gonna show you, and you realize it doesn't matter. You realize that that emotion, that feeling that you had before is decreased instantly. So what I'm going to ask you to do, you've got this bath half full of hot water, too hot for you to get in. All I'm going to ask you to do, because obviously that hot water represents the feeling, um, the response, the reaction that you've had to this event that happened earlier. That hot water, connect into that, and as you look at that hot water, you think about that person or that event, you have that physical feeling at the same time as imagining that hot water. And all you do now is just chuck into that bath a bucket, a steel or plastic bucket full of ice cubes. Whoosh. Which now fills the bath to the top or maybe three quarters. What happens to that water instantly? It doesn't have to be ice cubes, it can be ice. It can be snow. But we can just imagine it's ice cubes because ice cubes are quite handy because they float. And that's what happens to the emotion connected with that hot water that you had which was connected with the emotional response and reaction to the event that happened before that used to bother you before you decided to listen or watch this hypnosis session and this is something that you can do during the event as well someone says something you get a reaction imagine Maybe it doesn't have to be a bath. Maybe it can just be a sink full of hot water. Tip some ice cubes in. Or if you want to do it straight away, imagine yourself tipping ice cubes over them. Cooled it down straight away. So yeah, that's the end of this session. Just see what number you are now on that chart of 0 to 10. And let me know in the comments. Thank you. I've been Jason. Bye.